Hi, everybody. <laughs> hey, you just said you weren't going to say anything. I didn't say anything. You just wave. Okay. He's, he's, we're here today. I'm here with Sylvain, and um, I ran out of my matte spray. And uh, I make it with essential oils, and so I thought I would do a little video today and show you exactly how I make it. Um, so, Sylvain's going to be my little assistant today. The chemist. The chemist, yeah, the chemist, the mixologist, and um, so we're gonna get started. So what you need is some essential oils. Now, some of these are really good to use. Uh, lavender, for example, um, is very calming, soothing, it's a nice smell, but it's also antibacterial and antimicrobial. Uh, so is uh, tea tree oil. Is is very um, antimicrobial. Eucalyptus is a nice um, scent, uh, strong scent to have on your mat, as well as being um, antimicrobial and antifungal, as well as lemongrass, one of my favorites. So I'm gonna make this like a little citrusy. Um, and also I'm gonna blend in some grapefruit. The last time I made this, I, I added orange, which is my other favorite. But I like a fresh citrus smell to my mat, not a fungus, you know, stink. So, yeah. And um, the other thing that you'll need is a spray bottle. This is a, a stainless steel. Is it stainless steel? Stainless steel. Yeah. This is a four ounce container. You can find these at Whole Foods and I, um, or you can use like one of these blue glass ones. I like this one because it's really lightweight and it's a little bigger, so my matte spray will last a little longer. And you might just need a little uh, funnel. The other thing, so we're gonna start with some distilled water. If you don't have distilled water, you can boil some water and just let it cool. So I did that with the teapot, my little teapot back here. So we're gonna start by adding the water so you might yeah just use the funnel and maybe pour it to about mm, three quarters of the way full three quarters yeah so yeah, that about three quarters right cool all right, that was the hardest part. <laughs> okay, so now you just add a few drops of your essential oils and you can use a little bit more of, of ones you particularly like. Um, I, I put about five drops. Lavender. Yeah, so we're gonna start five, with the lavender. One, two, three, four, five. Wow, that came out fast. Not all of them come out that easily, by the way. Sometimes you have to knock them in there. It's grapefruit. Oh, grapefruit. Love the smell of grapefruit. One, two, three, four, five. Cool. Next up. Is the tea tree oil. Yeah. So tea tree, I I would say you want to use like in all of them because it's, it's really um, antifungal, antimicrobial. One, Oh, now he's counting in French. It's like Sesame Street. Yeah. We so we can learn French now on this. Essential oil, lemongrass. Page. Can you do that a little louder so they can all hear? In French. No? Who knows? Dos, <laughs> cuatro, cinco. Whoa. I think I that is Spanish. That is Spanish. Eucalyptus. So eucalyptus. Yeah. Well, I, I like them. Saying that one. What? <laughs> I've had a hard time saying that one. Oh, okay. Eucalyptus. A lot of men like that smell, so you can use a little bit more if you really like that. Six. Put six. Cool. It looks like we put in some water a little bit. All right. Yeah. So if you have a little bit more space. Just fill it with a little bit more water. Oopsie. 
Oopsie. Oopsie. That's why you do this near the sink. <laughs> Okay, and that gives me a, so you might want to just, you, yeah, mm -hmm. cool. Now you got it all over yourself, which is great. No, you need to have. I put it all head. over myself so I can just like, mmm, that smells really good. Okay, so we got to, sh yeah, shake it. Shake it, shake it, shake it. It's just like a, like a Corona. <laughs> Is there a lime at the bottom of that thing? I didn't see you put it in. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. It does smell good. Wow, this smells better than my last one. You're really good at making matte spray. Mm -hmm. Yeah, towel yourself off. <laughs> it's hard to work in a hot kitchen, slaving over the stove. Okay, so should we sh show them how to use it? Uh-oh. Yeah, we got a duck bone in there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I'm gonna grab this. Let me flip it around. Ooh, I don't know if I can do this. I'm gonna have to turn it. Okay. So how how are we gonna use this spray? We're gonna go to our mat and I guess you can see. Yeah. So you give it a good douse. And then you can wipe it up, you know, with a towel, like a moist towel or something, but it really doesn't matter if it all gets wiped up because it's going to treat your mat as well. Do <laughs> uh, you do this after every practice or Let's just see. once a week or? Go ahead, Wendy. All often. No, I do it after every practice and depending, of course, how much you sweat, maybe spray a little bit more on there. And then your mat will be smelling fresh there we go. in your bag. Nice. All right, cool. Well, thank you, Sylvain, for helping me this today More than with welcome. that. Yeah. All right. Till next time. See you soon.